let's get our guest speaker up here now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me describe this young lady. Uh, she's been on our call long, many, many, many moons ago. Uh, she's a regional director in ACN. Look at her smiling. She's also a real estate investor. I remember when I first met her, she was 23. When I first met you, I don't know how old you, 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 you were 22. How old are you now? This, I, I'm, I, 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 if you don't mind me saying, I like to share how young you are. You're such a youthful. <laughs> You're fine. I'm 27. 27. All right. Now she's 27. I had 26 over here. Now she's a real estate investor. Now I'm gonna get. I'm gonna really show her business up. Now she's. What, that was five years ago. I met her. She was 22. She's 27. Now I'm gonna put her on the spot again. I want you guys. I'm so proud of her. I just want you to put her on the spot. Let me let you guys see. You, not only should you be training yourself this way, your kids and your grandkids. She is 27 years old. How many pieces of real estate do you own? A dozen. Personally, with my brother, four. Now watch this, ladies and gentlemen. At 22, I know she had five or six. Yep. Y'all let you see. The reason I'm saying <laughs> this, the reason why I'm saying this slow, because I want this to, I want you guys to catch this. In five years, with a partner as a brother, at the ripe young age of 22, she got started. She's 27. Can you imagine what she's gonna be at 30? That's right, she's a superstar. So let me let me start the announcements again so you guys can catch. For accolades. I want you guys to really understand this. I don't want to rush through it. She's a regional director. She's a real estate investor. She's a business consultant. And just recently, oh my God, I got just recently she became an author. Just recently. I got a copy of your book, by the way. It's in my office back in my back 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 at home. She just became an author. So don't tell me how busy people are. She's a public speaker. And listen to this. Wait, wait, wait. It gets better. And Mr. G got this. Listen to this. A volunteer with the Operation Railroad to End Human Trafficking. And most important, she's very proud of this. Listen to this. She's very proud to be a God-fearing woman. Oh, did y'all see her title? Let me go through this one more slowly for y'all to catch this. I want y'all to really get the, the grasp of who she is and what the potential is. She is a regional director at ACN. She's a real estate investor, 20, 12 a dozen homes, a business consultant, mm -hmm. uh, author, a public speaker, and a volunteer with operations, railroad to end human trafficking. On top of that, and most proudly, she's very proud of being a God fearing woman. Did y'all catch that all that? And she ain't even 27 years old. I, I just I am so proud of this young lady. I am so thankful and grateful that we got her. So, ladies and gentlemen, get your pens and paper together. Without further ado, I'm going to give you Ms. Shayla Smith. Yes, the original director from Pennsylvania. Oh, my goodness. What a lovely introduction. I am so excited to be on the call here today. But first and foremost, I got to give it up to your leadership. Uh, Mr. Thomas, you're absolutely incredible. You all are learning from the best in the business, as you guys know. So anytime I can hop on and just share quick tidbits of, you know, what it is that I was able to do in this amazing opportunity, I am over the moon to do that. So Mr. Al Thomas, it's a pleasure to be here. Super excited uh, to just share some tips here today with everybody. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you for leading from the front and being able to give, you know, all of us an amazing opportunity to follow your lead with. So thank you. Um, but hello, everybody. He said a lot of amazing things about me. I promise I'm not that special. <laughs> um, but like you said, my name is Shayla. I'm out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Grew up here. I'm a Steeler fan. I always like to throw that in there for the people that don't like the Steelers. Um, but I did take a look at ECN a little over five years ago. At the time, I was a sophomore in college studying dance and business. Um, and just like a lot of you, some of you, you might have been looking for an opportunity, but if I'm a person of transparency at the time, I was not. You know, at the time I was in college, I'm like, this is all that I'm going to do. But I was also networking, focused on other, you know, business endeavors that I had going on. Um, and so when I actually got introduced to ACN at the time, uh, it was actually by my partner, a guy that I was dating at the time. And I went to an ACN event. It was actually a Saturday training. I got involved very unconventional, you'd say. Um, and one, a couple of things that stood out to me was the fact that this opportunity gave people an opportunity to not only save money, but to make money. Can we all agree here today by a show of hands? That's a pretty amazing concept. 
you know, and if you don't raise your hand, you probably lie about other stuff too. But saving money and making money was two things that I knew I was all for. Um, and not only that, one another thing that stood out to me during the presentation was I felt like this opportunity truly gave people freedom of choice. And to me, that was super important. That's the whole reason I ever wanted to become an entrepreneur. The whole reason I ever got involved in real estate is because having the freedom to choose what you want to do when you want to do it was so important to me. And I feel like ACN truly is that vehicle that can take you from where you are to where you want to be if you lock in. And so a couple of things that I like to always tell people when they get started in the ACN opportunity, starting is just, you know, getting started, you paid your fee, you got involved, but what are we doing now? That's where the work really, really begins. And before you can actually make a decision and really commit to going regional vice president, going senior vice president, can we agree we all need a why? We all need a big purpose, a reason for doing this business. And I know a lot of people want to say, you know, money is a good thing, but can we agree we've all quit on money before? You know, money is just a tool. What can you do with the money that you're going to make in ACN? Or maybe do you want to become a real estate investor? Do you want to spend more time with your kids? Do you want to put, you know, whatever that is for you, get present with that. Because I promise you the why that got you to RD or RC or wherever you're at in this business is not the same why that's going to take you to RVP, to SVP and beyond. You know, and so these meetings and these leadership calls are so, so important to how I build my business. You know, we hear many leaders say you build your business from event to event. That is so true. I can't tell you how many events that went over my head. Like I was like event to event. Okay, we get it. You want us all to the events. You want us to plug into the events. But how many of us can also agree every single time we go to an ACN event, we might have heard that same thing before, but we heard it on different ears. We've all heard the saying when the teacher or when the student's ready, the teacher appears. That's kind of how this business works. You know, and so in building your ACN business, whether it's day one or day four or year four in this business, I just did it for last week. I'm relaunching my ACN business. I'm trying to go RVP. I can't do that unless I'm relaunching my business every single week. So I would encourage each and every one of you to set a time and set a date over the next 72 hours because what's now no opportunities wasted. Set a meeting over the next 72 hours where you're like, I'm going all in. I, I don't know what's going to happen over the next 72 hours, but I'm going to make a list of people, brand new people. I'm going to go out there and meet some people and I'm going to fill a Zoom webinar or I'm going to fill a living room or however you build your business, relaunch your business. And you can do that today. I love the fact that we can build ACN on Zoom because it gives us the opportunity to touch people all across the world, all across the United States. When, Zoom, when we opened up Zoom, my business went from eight states to 42 states. When could we have ever done that building, you know, in person? Like this opportunity is absolutely incredible. And I get excited as if it's day one all over again, because I know how big of a blessing this opportunity is. I know how big of a blessing we have here in ACN. Can we agree? The bigger the blessing, the bigger the, the obligation is to share it with people. I don't know about you, but I know for a fact, I don't want anyone that I come in contact with to say, oh, you made it a senior vice president. How come you didn't tell me about that opportunity? If you have such a great opportunity, wouldn't you want to share that with everybody? If you had the cure to cancer, wouldn't you share that with everybody? Can we agree? A lot of people have the financial cure to financial. Uh, we have the financial cure to get the financial cancer and we're not sharing it with everybody we know. Imagine if I were to say here today, OK, I give you a thousand dollars, Rick. If you if, if I call anybody at random in your phone. And they say they know about ACN. Could you, could, would you make all the money? Would you make $1,000 per name in your uh, contact base? You can give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm talking to you, Rick, in the, the orange shirt. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If, if, someone, if no one could come to you and say, hey, listen, if I pick up your phone, I call somebody at random in your phone, and I say, hey, do you know that so-and-so is involved in ACN? Could you confidently say everybody in your phone would know that about you? I just checked myself right there because I just met a couple people yesterday at a networking event and I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't call them about ACN yet. But see, that's that's the thing that this business is for me. I love the fact that every single day I have an opportunity to touch more lives, meet more people, put more people in front of the opportunity because the reality is some people are going to say yes. Some people are going to go all in with you. Some people are going to run this race with you. But here's what I do know. There's going to be some hurdles that you're going to face in this business and the more years you're in it, the more you see that as well. You know, and the biggest hurdle that you're going to overcome in your ACM business is objections. And I love that my mentor, senior vice president, Michael and Patrick Mazur, I'm a part of the Rocks organization. They always say, said to me growing up in this business since 22 years of age is the yeses do build your business, but the noes build you. 
They build your character. And the only difference between Senior Vice President Al Thomas and the rest of us here on the call today is that he's heard a whole lot more no's than us. A whole lot more. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited to hear about 10,000 more no's because that just means I'm that much closer to kicking him out, kicking him over and joining him at the top, which I'm sure that's all of our goals here today. All of our goals here is to win. I promise you that. No, no one else around the world is sitting on a leadership call here. I don't know where we're at, everybody around the world, whether you're, it's 9 a.m. your time, 10 a.m., 11, 12 noon, where I'm at here today. You're not sitting on this call because you had nothing better to do. You're sitting on this call today because you knew, know that you want to make a difference not only in your life, but the lives of those around you. So if I could, and I and I and I love what I love about uh, what I love about ACN is the fact that think about this. I'm not a part of your organization, but I get so excited at the fact that we are able to cross pollinate, help one another, share tips with one another, the same way that Mr. L. Thomas has done for me. When I got involved in business, I had no idea there was different organizations. I was like, oh yeah, he's my mentor too. I'm learning nuggets from him too. But the funny thing about this is, you don't know what you're going to learn from what leader. That is that aha moment that you can change your entire business. I absolutely love what he did here in the beginning, and I'm totally stealing that for my leadership calls. You know, how many of us got customers in the last couple of days? How many of us booked meetings? How many people did we get registered for convention? He's invested in your business. Can we agree? He is already living lavish. He's already accomplished a lot. He does not need to do these meetings. He does not need to be checking in with each and every one of you. But he knows that this has been a big blessing for him and his family. And once again, the bigger the blessing, the bigger the obligation to share it and help other people. How many of us can agree the leadership that we have here today is nothing that you would ever see in corporate America? Nothing. No one in corporate America would be pouring into you this way. No one in corporate America will be wanting you to win as bad as they want to win. This is a blessing, guys. We need to do more. We need to talk to more people. We need to have more meetings. We need to be promoting from event to event to event to event to event like our pants are on fire. Correct. <laughs> I love the interaction. <laughs> but this is, I, I love ACN, guys, and I love each and every one of you because th what you're telling me here today is that you're fighting for your families, you're fighting for your futures, and you are all in. You're committed. And if you weren't committed before this call, can we agree? Let's be committed now. Let's be committed now to make a difference, to impact lives, because we have a huge blessing here. And I can't wait for the next event, the next event that we have coming up. I know you guys have a bunch of events in between, which is amazing. I might pop in and show up, you know, at one of your events here soon. But I cannot wait to see each and every one of you on this call, because don't I've actually been writing names down before I was brought up here today, because I like to see faces. I like to see who's engaged. I like to see who we're going to see at the next event, uh, getting promoted as a regional director, regional vice president, senior vice president. I get excited about those things. But I can tell you this much. These co-founders, the leadership that we have here in ACN is something I have never seen. And I've taken a look at so many different businesses. I've met so many different owners of different companies, and I'm telling you, our leadership, our owners are so committed in what they started that they keep making this opportunity better and better. I don't know what else they could do to get us to see what they're really doing for us and with the opportunity, the vehicle that they have provided us to really change our families' futures and our families' lives. I mean, Impact Health Sharing alone could get me to jump through this screen. That opportunity is insane, guys. It's insane. It is not just a business. It is a home. It is a family. Plant your flag. This is a home. I'm here. There's no other network marketing company I'm joining. There's nothing else that I want to see. I've seen it all. This is it. I'm here. I'm stuck with ACN, and ACN's quite frankly stuck with me. <laughs> but guys, I'm super excited. I am fired up. I'm happy that I was able to be here today. Just share a little bit about my journey, the things that I was able to do. Um, anything that I can ever do to help anyone, you can find me on social media, you can reach out to your leadership, I'm here to help. And I truly, truly mean that. So with that being said, I'm going to pass the call back to Mr. Thomas. And I'm going to let you all have a beautiful rest of your day. And just thank you all so much for allowing me to be here and just share a little bit with y'all this morning. Hold, hold, hold on, Superstar. Yeah. Don't go nowhere real quick. Let's, let's do this if you don't mind. I want to take on yeah. a couple of questions. Anybody got a question for this Superstar? I mean, I mean, look at look at her. I mean, look at these accolades she's got, man. Uh, does anybody have a question for this young superstar? Open up your line and ask it. Take your time and your name first. 
We'll take a couple questions and then we're going to let her go. So, hi there. Uh, this is Kush, uh, uh, Toronto. Uh, I love I love your story and how you know you started at such a young age. And some of us were not as young as you are, but what's your recommendation for those of us who are kind of starting? Although I've been in ACN for a while, but we're starting to I'm relaunching at a later date in my life. What's your recommendation to have the kind of success you've already experienced in your young life? Yeah, absolutely. And so, so I apologize. It was a little uh, cracking at the end, but if I didn't, an if I don't answer your question fully, just repeat the parts that I missed. Uh, but what my recommendation is, and we're all youthful here today. We just all are different age and number, but, <laughs> um, but what I would recommend is everyone can have a day one, whether you've been in ACN for years or this is your first week, whatever the case may be is we all have the opportunity to relaunch our business. I would highly encourage everybody, honestly, to remake a list of a hundred names and numbers, go through your phone. If you think you've genuinely went through everybody in your phone, do it again. Because can we agree things change in people's lives? You don't know who's praying on their hands and knees the day before asking for an opportunity. They might've forgot about ACN or the timing just wasn't right. So I would recommend writing a list of names and numbers and picking up the phone and calling each and every one of those people and relaunching your business. Set up a time for what's today. I never know what day of the week it is. I think it's Thursday. Set up a set up a set up a day and time for Saturday, 10 a.m. What are else are people doing? Laying on how at home on the couch. Set up a meeting and just promote for that event and promote like your life depends on it. Act like this is the only event you're gonna have, you know, but get excited. Maybe do some jumping jacks, be excited when you're making these calls because you want to have high energy. Where can we agree everybody else is a pro probably a little lower negative? negative vibes these days with everything going on in the world you know sound excited on fire for an opportunity um and just pick up the phone and start calling people act like it's day one act like you are brand new because think about it ACN launch more things this is a brand new opportunity i feel um so i would remake a list and i would invite for another meeting and i would set a meeting up for very soon like within 72 hours but that's just me thank you thank you Sean. appreciate great that answer, great answer matter of fact last night i sent out 80 i was selling uh, somebody I was sending out 85 plus 92. So I, I sent out 92 texts yesterday, 92, to tell That's them awesome. about something that they don't know something about. 92 texts, man. I sent out yesterday personally to remind somebody Amazing. of things. But anyway, next next question, real quickly. Relaunch, relaunch. I love it. Come on, Hi, everybody. Greg. You don't have to. Yes, hey, how first. can we find you? Oh, sorry, my name is Robert <laughs> Williams. How you doing? Um, Hi. I uh, wanted to know. Uh, what's your info on your socials? How can we find you on your social media? Yeah, I just posted my Facebook and my Instagram um, right here. I don't know if someone knows how to Check the chat. chat. Check the chat. It's in the chat. Uh, yeah. Check the chat. The there chat. we go. Appreciate I'll, re it. Next question. I'll repost. <laughs> All right. Last yeah. question. Last question. Yeah, how are you? Hello. Say, say hello. This is Greg Spearman. I have a question. Tell me what your typical day looks like. And tell me what it was like when you, your first week in the business. Yeah, that's a, actually a great one. So my first week in the business, uh, my typical day, I was literally in college and doing real estate. And I had a lot going on. And dancing as a competitive dancer about 60 to 70 hours a week at the time. So if I'm being honest, at that time, I my day consisted of school, doing stuff in my real estate business. I would always do networking events even when I was in school. So I would usually go to one in the evening. Um, and then I had one hour, that's all that I was willing to give at the time, to be honest with you all. One hour a day, I would make calls for my um, meeting that would be that week. And that was every day. Now I have a lot more structure. I wake up very early. I usually wake up around like 4.35, go to the gym. Um, before I do that, I always start uh, my day with prayer. Um, and then I go to the gym. I usually work out mental thing for me, but on the way to the gym, it's like my university. So I usually have an audible playing uh, something of Jim Rohn or Tony Robbins. Um, and then go to the gym, leave, come back. I write out my goals for the day, specific things that I need or I want to accomplish. Um, and then I have my regular regimen. I start my team meetings right after then. Um, I usually don't really eat in the morning. I need to fix that again. But um, uh, then I'll get right into my team meetings for a couple hours. And I personally set some time apart to make personal calls for things that I need if I'm, you know, relaunching, like how now I'm relaunching a new leg in ACN. So 
I'm focused on feeding that lake. So I'm doing a lot of prospecting calls. I do a lot on LinkedIn as well for if I want to build in a specific area. So I do a lot of LinkedIn networking as well. I usually go on um, meetup.com. Uh, there's also several BNIs that I belong or I belong to one BNI here, but you can try out different business networking events in your city. And it's actually an incredible way to meet new people if you're struggling with meeting people. Be it eyes or uh, go to meetup.com and they'll tell you different events that are happening in your city, networking events. Um, and it's a great way to get business that way as well. Um, I do spend a good amount of time on the networking aspect to build my um, network so I can build relationships, build that rapport. So that by the time I introduce them to ACN, they, we already have like kind of that friendship. Um, outside of that, I typically have some stuff going on with um, my real estate that I'm usually doing or I'm searching for, you know, maybe a new property. Um, but then outside of that, I go right into Zooms. I'm in Zooms for several hours and that is so fun. Um, and then after that, I usually take about, you know, a dinner break and then um, I go right back to either going out to a physical networking event or I'll do one online. Um, and then I try to like wind down, recheck my day, go through everything. But then an hour before bed is typically my personal development time. So I'll re-go through my notes um, for my personal life coach because I do life coaching too. Um, so I have my own personal life coach and we meet twice a week. So I usually do my homework and things like that, constantly trying to grow myself so I can be better for myself and my team. Sorry, that was a lot. Wow. <laughs> no, that was good. That was good because uh, the gentleman who asked that question is a brand new IBO. He just been in. Let's see, he was on my Tuesday night one through ten present, effective presentation. He signed up that night at the presentation, and so today's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday the third. So he's been involved two days, and his sponsors on the line, Miss Sherry, on. So that's why it's a good question. He's getting off to a fast start. I love it. I love when I see people like that ask those questions, and I love what. Yeah, that's amazing. Said. Congrats, yeah. Greg. I love, I love what Miss Smith said. She spent an hour a day. I remember when I first got going. You know, thirty plus years ago. I start off just like her, an hour a day, faithfully, every day. And then the next year, I went to two hours, the third year, I went to three hours, and the fourth year, I was full time. But faithfully, so notice she said she put an hour a day in, guys. We all can do this. But are we actually putting in an effective hour? And I, I told you, I should have a day timer. I, I write down the time. If I talk to Mr. Harrison Mill for 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Talk to Mr. Dick five, five minutes. I talk to Mr. Roberts uh, Williams for 15. I write it down and I keep a score. And that way, I know I was faithful to my business by putting an hour in faithfully. She said that. I love it. Last question. One more person in the question. Somebody's asking, can I go okay, with going once? Can I, can I have, have a question, Mr. Thomas? Please tell Lila, me about your name first. Leela Lynch. Okay. Leela Lynch. Uh, good afternoon, Ms. Smith. Good afternoon. Uh, Leela Lynch. And I've been in ACN for a while. I am relaunching. Mr. Al Thomas has put some fire under me. And I'll tell you, I am in a position where I have actually burned up my, I burned up people, burned up seats, streets, states, everything. And I'm going back now. Okay. Uh, and because I came from a place of education and then being the boss and being the boss and being the boss, I do have connections, but this is what I'm wondering right and dealing with right now. Once I get a yes, uh, people ghost me a lot. Young people ghost me a lot, people that I know, but how do you get people who you've uh, peaked, they've gone through the process, and uh, when I ask them, who do you know, you know, to give me some referrals or something, I get everybody is okay. Everybody's not okay, and I know that. How would you do that? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so I'm going to answer your question, but I also want to add another thing on there because I know you said that you burned a lot of contacts. You went through it. Basically, did I hear that correctly? Yes. Um, so one thing that I always tell people in my team that have done that, because let's be real, we've all done it at one point, whether we did our entire contacts or we did about five people. All of us were ignorance on fire at one point, and we just were going after people like crazy because we were excited. One of the things that I absolutely love about this opportunity is that we can always make it right. We really can. And if the person doesn't join, who cares? Because you can't say the right things to the wrong person, the wrong things to the right person. I was tricked into coming to an ACM meeting and luckily I loved it. <laughs> so that's how I got involved, guys. Um, so with the people that you feel that you've burned and you've made, you know, maybe 
the wrong taste in their mouth for them to take a look at ACN. I would call those people back up, not text. I would personally call those people back up and I would say, hey, listen, I know when I came to you about the ACN opportunity or about the opportunity, if they don't remember the name of the opportunity, when I came to you the first time, I did it completely the wrong way. I didn't know what I was talking about. I was vomiting all over you. I really don't want you to make a decision based off of my ignorance. I don't want you to make a decision based off of something I was not knowledgeable about. Could you please do me a favor and take a look at this? I think this is something that can really help you or your family or someone you may know. That way you are apologizing for something that maybe they felt like, okay, she went crazy. She was telling me all this information. I don't know her for this or whatever the case may be. You gave them an opportunity to apologize for something that to them could have been not a big deal, but it was like, everyone likes to hear someone says they're sorry for something, even if it wasn't a big deal. So you're telling them that you're, you're apologizing for the way that you went about it. And you're giving them a gift that you're giving them an opportunity because you're looking out for them. You're stating how, hey, listen, I don't want you to make a decision based off of my lack of knowledge the first time, off of my ignorance the first time. I think this is something that can really benefit you or someone you may know. I would really appreciate if you could just take a look. That's all I'm asking. So that's what I would do with the context you feel like you potentially, I went to the first day to a PVC. Troll, my goodness. <laughs> but but um, yeah, I would definitely do that. Now, secondly, because can we agree? We're not we're not able to like hold people's head to the fire. We're not able to force people to take a look at ACN or to invite or give you referrals. All I would say with those people is, hey, listen, if they say everybody's good, it's like that might be the case for you. And I really appreciate that. And I do respect that. But can we agree? There's someone that probably needs an opportunity. There's someone that would benefit from saving money. Do you know anyone that's interested in saving money? Do you know anybody whose life could be changed if they made more money or saved money? Can we be honest with ourselves and can we be real here today? I know that there might be a lot of people like you that are fine and everything is good, but can we agree? Let's think about two people maybe that maybe aren't, that maybe would like to save some money and start asking better and effective questions and digging a little bit deeper to see if they have a referral. Because at the end of the day, it's like, if I were to give you a thousand bucks right now, could you agree you'd take it? So not everybody's good. So let's think of somebody that may be needing an opportunity, you know, because that, you know, that's something that I'm interested in doing is helping people. And if I contact them and they say that they're not interested, that's fine. I'll leave your people alone. I won't ever call them again. I promise you have my word. But who are two or three people that you know that maybe are looking to save or earn? Great question, Ms. Lynch. Ladies and gentlemen, we have enjoyed Ms. Smith tremendously today. Can we show some love? Come on, everybody. Go some love to Ms. Smith real quick.